Kira Noor. I'm not sure that you can hear this on the YouTube video, but... This is going to be awesome. Yeah, this, 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 kid, this kid's already won. He's already won the battle of the walkout songs. I'm excited so this to see Kira this Noor of Renegade MMA coming in. See, we have too many rap songs. Not that I have no issue with the rap, but there's too many M like Eminem songs as walkout music for fights. Finally, we're getting a few more rock songs, a bit of a mix-up. Is, is that a Fabian Edwards? Fabian Edwards and Tom Breeze. And Tom Breeze. Wow, that's a that's a quite a lineup of a corner men there. If right you there. want a winning corner, you don't look no farther than Renegade MMA. Yeah, you got uh, Tom Breeze, current UFC fighter, just came off a big win over Dan Kelly. Fabian Edwards, Bellator fighter. One would hope that Kieran Ola has got some high-level grappling with the Tom Breeze in his corner, and then maybe high-level KOs with Fabian in his corner. I mean, if you wanted to grapple in the striking coach, that'd be the two to have. Coming back. Battle of the entrance music. Doing quite well as a comeback. Leno Christy Boissonneau. I guess I'll say that name. From REM MMA. Probably re representing the French. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, REM MMA. But sometimes some of their fighters, we've seen moments where they've looked a little bit basic. I've got to be honest. Without being, I'm not trying to insult their great coaches. Always super friendly, and I don't want to. I don't want to offend anyone, but we've seen some bay like some kind of maybe the occasional some, hole in some games. Yeah, some very big holes, and some of those holes that really need to be addressed. Even if you're just watching MMA, you'll be aware of some of the things that are going on. You know, fake it till you make it, though, Chris. Let's <laughs> see. Maybe we're seeing a different version of REM. I just think if the corner men had a fight. <laughs> I just don't think if you're. If I you're think part I'd of pick Renegade. I think if most corner men fought renegades, they'd have some trouble. <laughs> well, you, obviously not Roger Gracie, Kevin Lee, but yeah, I know what you mean. I know not us, of course. Right. Look at that physique coming out strong. There we go. I think yeah. all of Aryan's fighters are uh, Polish as well. It's I thought it's Polish, I don't know. Kieran Noor, Renegade MMA, Tom Breeze in the corner, and Fabian Edwards. Powerful dad bod. Bouchino is French for dad bod. This is, uh, no, you can't judge a book by its cover. Fedor, probably the most successful heavyweight in MMA history, unless DP wins tonight. Uh, he had the, he had a kill dad bod going on. He did, and I think Quasno has definitely modeled himself after the late great Fedor. And we'll see if he can sit down on those big winging overhand punches like Fedor did. It's only moments away. And to and to have a little bit of a gut, 77 kilos. That's impressive. He's very relaxed as Quasno. Oh, lovely little leg kick. They both parry in, get inside the pocket, and then immediately go back into the rangy striking zone. A little bit of a smile there from Kieran Noor. Oh. Again, just keep it basic, right? Basic but clear. Bushino throws him off oh, momentarily. Almost. Oh, picks up the leg. Oh, that was terrible. He kind of stumbled even though he had the ankle. A right hand digs to the body of Bushino from Kieran Noor. Kieran looks so relaxed in there. Bushino being reminded to keep his hands up in this fight. But a nice hooking kick in there. Now, Kieran with a, bit, a big smile. Sometimes the smile is like, oh, I've got you figured out. I think I can beat you. Well, sometimes it's like people just pretending they've been hurt and they just want to pretend they haven't. Mm -hmm. Oh, overhand right over the top. Now oh, he's winding him up. Trying to lead him in, I think. Shovel hook attempt there from Kieran Noor. I get the impression that Kieran Noor is, is downloading the data right now and he's going to get timing. You see that? Sat on the outside, chose his moment. And 
coming through that hook. Nice lead off cut as well. You better be very careful. Pride is very close to folly. Those That's overhand it. rights can still dig in for Bushio. Oh, he yeah, turns around. There. He's not smiling at the moment, is Kieran Noor. He's looking to his corner for some instruction. Some good, you know, just good cage awareness there from Kieran Noor. Knowing where he is. Who to look for for answers and a big overhand right. And a thunderous roar for that right hand from Kieran Noor. Oh, Might wow. actually belong to Deli Ali. <laughs> Kieran Noor is just picking him down. Picking his shots, he's coming forward, throwing beautifully now. I'm so impressed with the hands of Kieran. He's really relaxed there, very loose in the shoulders. He's throwing it from all different looks, uppercuts, shovel hooks, overhand rights that have been landing, and then he throws in the occasional head kick. It's just got to be so good. He just has the habit of hanging his chin. Oh, another... I'm, a, I'm so confused by Lalo's wrestling. Like, he or lack shoots, of. Uh, yeah, or lack of. He's shooting and then sitting down. It's almost like he's trying to... It's kind of a, a sketchy guard pull or something. Bushino, interesting tactic there, blocking punches with his head. <laughs> he seems to be looking to draw Kieran Noor in and land a right hand off the, off the break, but Kieran Noor seems to be very, very aware of that. Kieran's composure is just beautiful. He looks like he's in the gym sparring, but every, every few shots he just puts a little bit more sting on it. And we come back with a big right then. Both fighters are hanging their chin out. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a KO in this fight. It'll have to be next round, Chris. Great round. Very exciting action. Kieran Noor is definitely getting the better of this of this exchange here. He's done very well to, to get in there, maintain the range, throw those very relaxed shots, weight his punches. You know who I'd like in my corner? Fabian Edwards and Tom Brees. That would be quite a good corner. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Both guys at the, at the peak of their game as professionals taking time off here at Battle Arena to come in and corner the uh, the people on the on the up and up. That's a sign of a good team as people yep. are sticking around and sharing their knowledge. And we, we were lucky enough to uh, commentate on one of Fabian Edwards' fights when I think it was against the Tiller. Came yeah, back with a big KO in, in the... Uh, just before he turned pro. Yeah, just really excellent pro. fight. Excellent show there from Fabian Edwards. Here we go, round two. Kieran Noir versus Leno. Leno, possibly the more tired looking of the team. As you noted earlier, the chins are hanging out. I think Bushino is going to be dangerous for about 45 seconds. He's coming in with the bombs. Depends He's loading on how up. How many of them he throws? Kieran Noor. Oh, the no with the big overhand right. Kieran Noor turns away from it though. That's a real power from coming in, but that might be the key. Get Kieran Noor coming over top of you and try to land a right on his way in because you want the power of your opponent coming forward as well as the power of the punch. Right now, Bushino is getting the better of these exchanges and has Kieran Noor pressed against the fence, but isn't using any sort of head position. No. He needs to work on his wrestling. It's just a, Definitely. It's just nothing the fundamentals. The Big right hand lands again. We has Kieran Noor looking away. We've seen this with the REM MMA guys before. Just, the, just a little bit off, technically. Definitely got aggression. And there's some skills there and heart. Just a little bit of polishing with five. Yes, indeed. Put back. We know that he's been rolling with Tom Brees in that gym, one of the best UK grapplers. Now he's on top, and I, I think we're going to see very little from Bushino here in terms of skill-wise and getting out. He could be pushing he on that knee and stripping. intelligently defending himself. I mean, rolling out, that's kind of intelligent defending himself. He's got he his chin, there. he needs to keep his chin down. He's got that, that cage, I'm not sure. I've seen him crossing his feet, body triangle, excellent transition. That is the perfect thing to do when you're pressed up against the cage like that. Because now he has got nowhere to go. I wouldn't even be trying to sink in the choke. I'd be doing exactly what he's doing, just hammering those punches. Maybe wait for the ref to stop it. And now, look, he's got his feet crossed, but over the leg. That is some high-level jiu-jitsu there. And we know he comes from Team Renegade. Team Renegade, they regularly compete in grappling tournaments and submission super fights. Like, 
we, we expect good good groundwork. Indeed. And this is becoming some really good stuff. And Mercy Evan under the chin. Looks like he secured it. It's pretty close. I think it's only momentarily and we got uh, the tap. tap. And he's unconscious. Oh. Lucian's just got to get his get his win back there. I think he's just more tiredness than unconsciousness Referee there, wasn't Chris. too worried about him. But a very good win there from Kieran Noor. He gets the winning ways back at Renegade MMA. Well done. An excellent performance there. A bit of a grappling clinic. It'll be interesting to see Kieran Noor back in the cage with some of that relaxed striking style and some of those submission chops that he showed off today. Yeah, I want to see Kieran Noor fight again. I want to see maybe a, a slight step up in opponent. Um, someone with a slightly more polished skills. So we can see Kieran Noor put through his paces a little bit more. But uh, amazing striking combination, sitting on the outside, not rushing, and then on the ground. Just classic Tom Breeze taught Jiu Jitsu, just smooth, dominating, controlling. He made it look easy. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped the action at two minutes and eight seconds of round two. And the winner, by way of ready to control, is the red corner, Kieran 